Hello and welcome back to the Originals SMP. In the last video, we built quite a few new things on the server, including our, our milk church and our blacksmiths. Um, later in this episode, we will get some people in for the first ever milk church meeting on the Originals SMP. Uh, we also built this little cute bridge over here, but my first course of action for today is to make the axolotl pond because this little area up here needs needs something and we're going to be doing this building today so i kind of want to get this little area finished off so first course of action is pond you're going to decorate this area in a cool fun and colorful way because nowhere else is really colorful and these axolotls belong to both me and nika so i want to bring in some of nika's kind of like fun and more lively atmosphere into this build so basically axolotls can jump out of this really easily so we are gonna need some kind of fence we can either use these palisades, but I don't know if they can jump over them. But that would be that would be a nice option. These little wooden palisades around here. I don't think they'll be able to jump over that, will they? I would like to place some plants around. It isn't a very big pond anyway, so trying to place a lot of plants might be hard. But I say we give them a few little plants. Maybe maybe these ones. Yeah, that plan looks good. We have a little flower re area. It's very contained in itself, in fact. So much so that I'm gonna get rid of this one uh, and replace it with normal dirt. Because I don't want it like escaping the confines of our little area. But they have a nice little area and now all we have to do is go and get them. And in here we have Percy and we have PPM. These bougie little axolotls are going to be placed in this pond right here. And if they can get out, I will be shocked. Um, look at them go. Oh, they have so much room to swim around. And I think that is our job here complete. And this also makes this area a little bit more windy. And when we have this house, you'll be able to see completely what I what I mean by the, the windiness. Because you can kind of see it now, but uh, it's going to be a lot more closed off. And kind of like looking up at all the buildings around you when they're done. Windy. And also there's now a little path down here. Because there's going to be a little building here. And that path will probably continue, I want to say around this way down to this place which instead of being a library like i said it would be originally this is going to be a little farmer's market surrounded by little like farmlands and a forest over there uh so that's that's what this is going to be so you know how i said that we would be doing this build this build right behind me today well actually I mean, we will probably still be doing this today, but first I want to work on the storage building because my storage is an absolute mess and I need somewhere to put that mess uh, and hopefully organize it as well. And this is our last like big building. Uh, so I think, I think this is a good place to, to start. It is a little bit of an awkward shape, but basically the idea for this build is kind of a normal storage building here, not too big, maybe like a couple stories or something like that. And then we have a big, a big greenhouse on the back with all the plants, although I use the majority of them in that axolotl sort of enclosure. So whilst we wait for people to receive the invitation to the milk church, I think that this is what we're going to do now. So roll the time lapse.
So, this is my storage building. It looks a little bit more planned than the rest of my builds, but honestly, it's good for being off the top of my head with absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Um, around here, we have the little greenhouse section. You can see into the inside. We have like cracked windows and things. Um, it's a little bit more of a chill build, except from the roof. This took me ages to get right with the kind of collapsing in, disintegrating esque vibe and um i think it came out quite well i also did this little dent in the front which i which i really like uh, in here i have organized all of my chests i also have all of my building things because i'm getting more blocks for building but up here we have really random storage there's the, there's nothing in here but if i ever need overflow space i will probably organize this and you know actually do that um but it's just there yeah and this this is what the little greenery looks like from the inside it's just kind of a little bit of a mess and overgrown but that's the vibe that we're going for and I, oh i'm invisible <laughs> and i have also done this very much in time as people are starting to arrive to the milk church hello i've come to take you to my milk church ah <laughs> <gasps> I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'll put it somewhere. <laughs> this is the milk church. Welcome. Welcome in. Um, take some complimentary milk. <laughs> Thank you. There is also, like, nobody else here. Welcome to milk church. <laughs> <laughs> We might just wait for Jake. Milk. To Milk. Milk. Wait, 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 wait. Milk. <laughs> the milk buckets are bigger than him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the milk. The milk ceremony. You can actually sit on the on the slabs, like their little like. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. So small, I can barely even see him. <laughs> Well, um, you know what? This is now a members' wall. There, I'll put your head on the wall. Um, <laughs> welcome to the milk court. Um, <laughs> honestly, not much of a court. Um, yeah. We, we have a book, it doesn't really say anything, it just says Milk Church. Um... <laughs> Perfect. We worship milk. Given to us by the admins in early game. That's fun. Rules. Drink milk. Have fun. Do crime. <laughs> We're a cult after all. We do crime here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, um the, the the milk overlord. <laughs> this is the almighty milk. Uh you can come and pray to the milk. How exciting. How exciting, yeah. This is all my chat's doing. Um, chat liked milk, thought I was a milkman, so this is why we're here. Um, let me let me go grab some more milk. Uh, we can we can all drink milk. Nice. Um, yes, so... Um, wait, let me just... Let me just write out the rules. You can add your name to the book. Tiny book. Okay. I'm not going to sign it yet, but I'll sign it on the last day so that it's here for memory. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I don't really know why I'm doing this. I just thought it would be funny. I just realised we don't have a bell. Church, you should have to Yes. 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 Milk. Milk. 
milk. <laughs> I would like to say I am a large milk enjoyer, large so this enjoyer. <laughs> is a fabulous day f for me. Now we party and drink milk. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> You're like a fountain of milk. <laughs> a lot from an outside perspective. <laughs> I'm just throwing milk around. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm God. <laughs> and friend. Should I name the friend? I have a spare name tag. Should I name the Enderman? Um, what should I name the Enderman friend? So he doesn't despawn. Should I just name him friend? And the friend. He's <laughs> another friend. And friend. And, and the friend. <laughs> oh, that's my anvil gone. Oh. Well. Yep. <laughs> Hello. Let him get to your name. Ha. <gasps> No, I, I don't want to look at you in the eye. I'm like trying to resist. I might have to put him in a boat just for the sake of he can just go wherever he wants. But he's also I like very much he's very much like on the edge of the thing and I don't really want to like like yeah, I don't know how it's to risky. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been here for so long. Uh that one. The black sugar. Oh. There's so much quick. Do, do you need any of it or can I just take it all? You can take it all. Uh, I dragon tree logs, more. you can. Yeah, you can keep those as well. Uh, yeah, I think I have uh, some more wood animals. in this one. Oh, yes. A bunch Spruce wood, wood is so useful and so hard and to get. And then sandy jade stone and azure jade stone, you can keep as well. I oh, don't know yeah, what I to was make looking with the for that pistols. for the church, but I couldn't find any. Uh, I don't know if I'll use it for anything else, but it's just useful to have. I don't know, the Aurora Crystals are, I don't know what they do, but you can keep them if you can put them with them. Well, that was fun. Now, just to get back to building. Um, honestly, it saved me so much time with the um, with all the wood. <laughs> can we all leave a comment saying thanks, Wes? for all this wood and resources and this thing that's gonna be so cool uh i can't wait for that but yes um i think the next thing i'm gonna build is this so i guess cut to the time lapse This is what my brain decided to create in this little plot of land. We have a little tower that kind of looks like it's falling over. Um, it's it's really cool. I don't really know where to get the best angle, but there is a little like house on top. You guys have probably seen it from the time lapse anyway. But it's got a little hut on top, and it's a big tower. Uh, I mix in the dragon wood from Wes into the little support beams and made it like kind of curve over because this one goes slightly that way i wanted this one to kind of look like it's gonna fall onto the milk church i think it came out really well and i'm very pleased with it obviously there's nothing on the inside i don't really know how to decorate this place so we're just gonna leave that unfurnished for now um 
this place is now looking really good. From here, you would kind of think everything's like fully built up, apart from maybe this one. But when we head down here, you can clearly see that we are still kind of work in progress. Um, so I feel like we need to move away from the big building projects for a little bit today because we still have a lot to do. We have houses here, we have houses down there, we have a house back there. Um, we have animal barn, but uh, down here we have panda enclosure, which is gonna go down here. And that's not really gonna be a building. There might be a little like indoor space on it, but it's not really gonna be a building. And this guy's kind of just walking around. Um, another thing that we have to do, which I think is gonna be our next course of action, is this little nether portal down here. Um, I have put my nether portal back because I need to get some stuff from the nether, but this isn't going to be a building. I just put this here to outline that something was going here. Um, I kind of want to build this like into the side of the hill. I probably won't bring the hill up too much more, but I want to bring this like, maybe make it look kind of like a mine in the back of the hill. Um, maybe a little structure coming out of it, but with a massive kind of circular nether portal. So that is what we are going to do next. Nether portal first, we need a whole lot of obsidian. And hey, there's diamonds back there. Nice. Ooh. Now with all this obsidian required, we pick our blocks. Well, th th this is gonna be needed. Okay. Never portal, here I come. And we're gonna do this one a little bit differently. I'm just gonna guide you through how I build stuff because it's chaotic and has no structure, but so does my brain. Well, first of all, we have to take down this ugly never portal because this is not staying here. No way, not at all. Now that that's gone, we can start maybe jazzing up the floor a little bit. I've, I've never built a good looking never portal before, so we'll have to see what happens. But I think just starting with sprucing up this place with a bunch of this uh, is probably the way to go to start off with. Uh, make it look a little bit more spooky and nethery because the moment this looks a little too kind for my liking okay i think that is a good start my inventory is completely full as always uh but let's actually build a nether portal now i know what you're probably thinking kind of that looks ridiculous what are you doing uh well the cool thing is that when this spell is done you're not going to be able to see any of this obsidian and it's just going to be a portal into a different dimension literally so let's start building my first idea when i thought of a nether portal was to have a tree kind of wrapping around it but then i thought one i don't know how i'm going to cover this ugly obsidian and two it's not very dark um but that is what we're doing. Um, there's just going to be a little bit more to it than that because I, yeah, it's a little bit boring. But let's get working on our little tree around here. Um, trees are quite nice because they're natural, naturally spawned things. So you could just kind of place blocks wherever and it usually looks a little bit like a tree. We will thicken up this this tree a little bit but I want to make it kind of curl over um kind of like a deformed dead branch um well not really deformed kind of how dead branches look that will do um and a little off branch coming down across the front of here okay I think that looks kind of cool this branch might be a little bit intrusive onto the 
walking in of the nether portal. But I think I think that works. Uh, all we need to do now is just kind of thicken this bit out so it doesn't look so whack and straight because we all know I'm not. What if we just hang like a lantern from the branch and we pretend like that block doesn't exist? Um, I do have some copper. I did want to try and incorporate like some blocks of copper into this because it is a block that's commonly used in our little area. So this could be like a little copper mine. Okay, another thing that usually makes trees look slightly better is if you strip just a couple of planks in like certain areas just to make this not look so um, one colored. And another thing is adding like little walls and random little bits coming off the bottom. So if we do like this, and we break up just that plain wood just a little bit. Ooh, it has like a magic sparkle to it. I think that little magical essence looks super cool. Um, a few more lanterns hanging off of this. Let's just lay this out with this, with this path. Um, we could bring it down here, around. Maybe we could do like a little wooden bridge that curves round and down here. Surprisingly, this works. I, I've been building for so many days straight. This is getting a lot. Please. Please help. Pause. You can, you can literally see through me. I am disappearing from reality and turning into a Minecraft builder. Maybe that isn't such a bad thing. Soul soil. This is taking my soul. Um, yeah, we want to keep the parts that you might actually walk on to the soil because then you don't get slowed down as much. So we're starting to kind of fill out the different areas. So we've got like this area coming along really well. Um, this area looks really good. Um, just this house needed to finish it off. Um, and now we've started to get this area over here going. A lot of building. If you guys didn't know, uh, I'm panic recording all of this when I heard news that the original server is actually closing. So all of, since, since episode three, I'm pretty sure this is only episode four, but yeah, from episode three to whatever the last episode is going to be, probably six. Yeah, that's all me just panicking and getting stuff ready. So, um, it's currently Thursday, Thursday night, 10 p.m. And, um, the server closes on Sunday at like 11. So, we're getting there. We are getting there. This, I started this on what, Monday, I want to say? Uh, with honestly just collecting materials like it's gonna be done we are going to finish it because honestly this is more of a personal project to me now rather than an actual thing that I need to do because nobody's asking me to do this at all no nobody's forcing me to do this help um no just just my brain just my brain um it's looking good. I'm really excited for how this is going to turn out. And I think... <laughs> this tree looks so sad. <laughs> I think this is where we're going to leave this episode. Episode 4. Um, yeah, I'm going insane. It's very late. Uh, I've been working on this for like 24 hours this past week already. And I have a lot more to do. Uh, and I'm not going to give up. So, goodbye. See you next time, losers.